One of the missions of Math Pickle is to encourage every classroom to adopt a board game. Board games are a celebration of problem solving, and problem solving is at the heart of a quality mathematics education. Today we're going to learn how to play the game Santorini. Santorini is fast to play and fast to learn, two important features you want in your classroom game. Santorini is a two-player game. Older students play on a 5x5 five five board and they have two men each. Younger students play on a smaller board, maybe 2x4, and they get to actually stand on the blocks themselves, so they are their own pieces. The rules of the game are the same, regardless of the board size. We're going to learn on a 5x5 five five board. One player chooses pyramids, the other cubes. The pyramid player goes first. They choose one of their pyramid men, and they must move it to a neighboring square. They choose this square. Around the man that moved, they now must place a tile. They choose to place it here. Now it's the cube player's turn. First they choose a man, then they move it to a neighboring square choose this square. When they add a tile, they choose to add it to this square. Each turn a man may step up a maximum of one level. So this pyramid man has the opportunity to step up and does so. Each turn a player must move and must place. There's no exceptions. Let's move forward in the game. This cube player would love to move up to the second level but unfortunately they can only step up a maximum of one level each turn, so they can't do that. The game is won whenever a player moves to the third level. So here the pyramid player would love to step up onto the third level and win, but they can't move from the first level to the third level. So again, that's not allowed. So the pyramid player has to satisfy itself with jumping down and making another move. Whenever a tile is placed on top of a level 3 tower, it kills the tower. You can either indicate this by removing the tower or by putting a dome on top of it. We're just going to remove the tower here. We're going to warp to the end of the game just to see who wins this contest of wits. And looks like the pyramid player is doing very well here. And yes, the pyramid player has won. Here's the winning move. The pyramid player has got on top of a tower of height 3. They're on level 3, so they have won the game. It feels so quiet. Wow. But now I have my own little tower. Once your students are familiar with the regular rules of the game, you may want to experiment with giving them some godly powers. These godly powers allow them to break the rules of the game in a unique way that is associated with the gods of Greek mythology. This is great if you're doing a unit on Greek mythology in your English class. Santorini is due to be released in 2012, but until then, why don't you make your own copy and adopt it in your classroom? Can you try to trick me? The three other strategy games that I think you should consider for your classroom are Inverse, Tsar, and Devon. Chess and Go although fantastic historical games, I think take a little bit too long to play or a little bit too long to explain. So I'm not recommending those, although for a chess club or a go club in your school, oh, I would think that would be fantastic. 